Lionel Messi, arguably the greatest player to ever kick a football. Winner of six ball indoors, more than any other player in history. And up until this point, this titan of the game has spent his entire career over at Barcelona. But there was turmoil at the Camp Nou over the past couple seasons. The lack of leadership and a string of, let's say, less than fortunate transfers has left a sour taste in the little Argentinian's mouth. And then the unthinkable happened. This past summer, Messi requested to leave Barcelona, with rumors swirling that he most likely would be reunited with his old master, Pep Guardiola, at Man City. It was a headline written in the stars. But alas, it never came to be because Barcelona's asking price was just too outrageous. But what if, what if Messi somehow broke free of the trains of Barcelona and actually reunited with Pep Guardiola at Man City? What would that look like? Well, today, and we get to answer the age-old question, could Messi do it on a cold, rainy night in Stoke? And if you are excited to see the answer to this question, go ahead, smoosh your hard erect nipples on the like button right now, subscribe if you are new. All right, let's get in. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in FIFA 21, and the highest rated player in the game is, of course, Lionel Messi coming in at a 93 overall. You see his stats at the age of 33, still very respectable. 85 in pace, 92 in shooting, 91 in passing, 95 in dribbling, and uh, not so great in the defending and, and physical, but four star skill moves, four star weak foot. I honestly don't know why there are plus fives and plus fours next to it. The game literally just released half an hour ago. I have the EA Play release, which is technically, I guess, like an early release. So not everything is quite up to date because as you can see, oh no. Luis Suarez is still in the Barcelona lineup. Now, if I wanted to save time in previous FIFAs, I could just go into club transfer and then go ahead and search by name for Lionel Messi. But as you can see right here, when you look that up, he doesn't show up. And the stupid reason for this is every player that is on the Adidas All-Star team cannot be club transferred before career mode starts. I don't know why this is. This has never been in any FIFA before. So we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. We're gonna go on to Man City and sign him up that way. Select a manager. All right, I'm choosing this lady. She looks like Father John Misty. And I'd like to take this opportunity to showcase to you a couple of new additions to career mode this year. You see, a lot of the stuff is pretty normal. Change the currency to Sterling, European Cup competitions. But these two are the new ding links now financial takeover is an option at the start of your career mode. You can have it disabled if you want to play fairly, or if you want to cheat, you can go ahead and give yourself 10 million, 50 million, 100 million, 200 million, and 500 mil. What are you going to do with 500 million to start the game off? If you give any team half a billion dollars, you'll win everything in the first year. So of course, we're going to give Man City half a billion dollars. And you can also see here, negotiation strictness. Either go loose or strict. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. We want to sign Lionel Messi. Let's put it on loose. And right, as you can see, I've taken over Man City. Father John Misty is going to be our manager. We're going to go ahead and search Lionel Messi. He actually shows up here. Let's go ahead and add him to the... Okay, he's he's retiring at the end of the season. Let's, let's reload. And second attempt. Okay, okay. We can get him. We can get him. Short list and view in the transfer hub. All right, let's approach to buy. Oh, look at Father John Misty. All right, current value is around 93 million. Let's go ahead and offer him 150 million. I'd say that's a reasonable offer for Messi. We're happy on those terms. All right, we got him. 150 million. Easy. Oh, his new uh, face model looks good, though. Very lumberjack-ass. I'm thinking, like, three years. Come on, he's like 33. He already retired once in this video. He wants to take a pay cut to go ahead and play with Pep Guardiola. Let's go ahead and accept. He scores 25 goals. We pay him an extra 17 million. Steal. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Lionel Messi is going to be unveiled at the Etihad. Can you imagine the fucking scenes if this had actually happened? I'm a Manchester United fan, and even I kind of was, kind of wanted to see this happen, just, just out of curiosity. I also realize now we're not gonna be able to answer the question about Stoke, cause, cause Stoke's not in the Premier League. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just sim through the season. We'll stop at a couple of key places, and then at the end of this, see what Messi's first season in the Premier League would look like. And lo and behold, the kickoff match of the season is up against defending champions, Liverpool. And let's go ahead and see another new feature of FIFA 21, the new sim match options. It is underway. All right, as you can see, Messi's this little 10 over here. I changed the number. Oh. Over to Messi. Sends on the cross. Oh, it's a goal. Assist from Lionel Messi. But Kevin De Bruyne gets on the end of it. In the 24th minute, we have the breakthrough. Uh-oh. Salon space along the wing. Sends it in. Oh, only as far as, oh my god, it's a goal! Gini Wijnaldum goes ahead and equalizes in the 43rd minute! 
Oh, Messi's in! And he scores! Messi with an assist and a goal on his debut up against Liverpool. He has been the difference maker here. Can we just get through it? Yes, they do. And Man City go ahead and win 2-1 up against defending champions. And with that, let's go ahead and make our way to about the halfway mark in December for the Manchester Derby. All right, we're on December 2nd over here. Let's go ahead and do a quick sim on this one, and then we'll do the full sim on the second round. Oh, wow. It just automatically gets to here. All right, Messi actually doesn't kill him. He actually gets subbed off, like, right after halftime? But hey, 3-0 drilling of uh, Manchester United. I'm pretty sure Man City fans will be happy about that. Go time, Messi! And all right, now we sit on January 1st of 2021. But let's take a quick look at the standings. Oh! Oh, 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 actually, Man City sit atop a league, but it is a dead heat, 49-49 for Spurs. And Chelsea's only three points behind, as well as Liverpool and Leicester are at 42. So it's a pretty tight race for whoever's going to win. And wow, in the Premier League, Lionel Messi isn't even in the top 15. The top scorer is Kevin De Bruyne with 15. But you got to go all the way down to 23. Messi has only scored six goals in 21 appearances. And Aguero is hurt right now. You can see at the halfway point, unfortunately, his form is bad. He's gone down by negative one. And we take a look at his stats. In 30 appearances, he scored nine goals and seven assists. Not bad, but it's not, it's not Messi. So let's go ahead and switch things up. Since Sergio Aguero is hurt, let's move Messi to the striker position. All right, we put Messi at striker. We've given him the captain's armband. No excuses. And ooh, tantalizing. Man City are gonna be playing Barcelona in the Champions League. All right, we gotta see these two matches. Oh God. Oh God, what is happening? Oh, I hope this is my computer and not just shitty. All right, let's quick sim the first one and then we'll long sim the second. And the initial results, Man City eke out a 1-0 win. De Bruyne getting a goal in 12 minutes. But crucially, that was the away goal. So let's sim up to the next meeting. Oh god, this is happening again. <gasps> Why? Yeah, can you make it so that we can skip this shit? New school versus old school. Remember that Manchester City have a one away goal lead on aggregate. Let's hop into it, boys. Let's take it up, Barcelona. They aren't even that good, guys. Trying to link up here. Oh, he's in! Oh! Going back forward. De Bruyne. Back to De Bruyne. To Messi! Oh, he's off sides. Griezmann comes inside. Oh my god, it's 1 1. Coutinho scores. And we're tied up on aggregate, boys. 25 minutes left to determine who goes through Barcelona or Messi. Gonna send in the cross. Still there. Oh! Oh, and the keeper came to claim. And we're going into extra time, boys. Outside here, it's been all Man City in the section period, but oh my god, he's in! He shoots and he scores! Malenko Savage was transferred over to Barcelona and have sucker punch right out of the second period of extra time. And that is full time. Barcelona, through the foot of 21 Savage, is going to knock off a messy led Manchester City. 2-1! Messi all thwarted at home too. A colossal collapse at the Eddie had. God, not even Messi can save Man City in the Champions League. But all right, let's advance it to the second Manchester Derby. All right, second Manchester Derby, this time at Old Trafford. This is the reason why you buy Lionel Messi for matches like this. Let's go. Oh, Martial! It's track pass one! Oh my god, destruction! Martial, I believe, just chipped Ederson. <laughs> Sterling. Oh, it's a penalty! Lionel Messi! Is he going? Oh, I guess he takes it right here. Oh, it is equalized! Limbs! All even. And we got basically a second half to play. All right, Mares cuts it in to the back post. Oh my God, Torres, <laughs> the super sub. I don't know why I'm cheering. I'm a Man United fan. Like, even though I know they would have crushed us in real life, undoubtedly, a part of me wants to wanted to see. Like, you know how, like, when you see a train wreck, you know it's horrific, but you can't look away. That's how I would view a Manchester Derby if Messi signed for Man City. In the 92nd minute, this should be it. Lionel Messi and Manchester City have pulled the double over their crosstown rivals. And with that, let's go ahead and sim to the end of the season. Go time, Wizzy! 
All right, as you can see, we sit on the 15th of May in 2021. We have one more league match to be played up against Leeds. It is a foregone conclusion. Manchester City are going to go ahead and win it from anywhere from 89 to 92 points. Next closest was Chelsea and Christian Pulisic. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and test. We're going to go into the sim match portion of this. And then we're going to jump in at the very end and see if they give us the trophy. <laughs> oh! Well, six minute, Lionel Messi scores. <laughs> All right, 88th minute, 89th. Let's hop in. Two, one. Ah, ah, ah. And there we go. Let's see if we get the trophy ceremony celebration. And it looks like we're, we're prancing all around. The other team seems disappointed. There was, I believe, a floating camera. But you know what? We'll take it. It's fine. But there you go. And he's got the captain's armband. So Lionel Messi is going to lift up his inaugurable Premier League trophy in his debut season. Reunited with Pep Guardiola and Manchester City. Disgusting as a Manchester United fan. But I think FIFA got this one right. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Messi and Man City would definitely win the league? Or do you think maybe like a Liverpool or someone else could have challenged them? So, all right, at the end of the season, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the stats. Final standings in the Premier League's Manchester City win it with 92 points. 29 wins, 5 draws, 4 losses. The next nearest competitor was Chelsea, who came in with 78 points. Manchester United came in with 77. And Liverpool, defending champions, come in in 4th place with 75. Liverpool go ahead and capture the FA Cup. And Inter beat Lazio in the Champions League final. All right. Our bitter rivals Barcelona were knocked out by defending champions Barn in the next round. As for player stats, as you can see, Lionel Messi did not have a very good year of scoring the rock. Sadio Mane takes the golden boot here ahead of uh, Manchester City teammate Kevin De Bruyne. Messi does make it on the list, only contributing 12 goals the entirety of the season in 37 matches. Although he did fare quite a bit better in the assist category, uh, he came in second place behind Rafa and Mane, although he was only really one off of the league lead. At the end of the season, I mean, the stack degradation was not all too bad at all. Still at a 92. And we see that his total games played, uh, yeah, 16 goals, 13 assists. So according to FIFA, can Messi do it in the Premier League? I mean, sort of. It should be noted that a Messi-led, far more talented Manchester City side did lose to his old team, Barcelona, in the Champions League. But they do go ahead and recapture a Premier League title in his debut season. And statistically, out a mediocre season. So a uh, mixed bag for Messi. Let me know, Man City fans, if there are any watching this like would you have taken this would you have taken a mediocre messy but you win the Premier League. And if you did enjoy this sim and you want to see others like it, give me suggestions in the comments down below as well. Leave a like, helps me out in the algorithm. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for me being modest. If you want to check out other FIFA content, go ahead and click over here, Dingsy Poos. When you want something completely different, go ahead and click over here, Dingsy Poos. And I'd also like to give a huge, huge thank you to all my patrons. You guys are keeping the lights on, keeping me alive, making so that I don't have to drive Uber during global pandemic, which I am really grateful for. I'd like to live. I'm fat and I'm pre-diabetic. The Rona's getting someone. It's me. But anyway, that is going to be the video. So until next time, boys, stay thick.